Hey guys, this is Smasher Josh here. And today I am going to be reviewing this CRT from Pacific. This model is the 14 DV TV 100C model. As you can see, it's got a built in DVD player. I think I said that. Um, it's got some of the essential buttons. You know, the power, open the DVD slot, your volumes, change the channels, and also input as well. The play button, stop, and the skip. And we've got the composite inputs. And also, if you don't want to watch with the headphones, you can. And in the back, I don't know if you can see very well, but we've got an RGB SCART port. RF and coaxial. Uh, I think there's also a support for the area as well. As you probably can see here, I don't know how well you can see that. On here, I've also customized a little, just a little customization. I put this mighty the armadillo uh, plush I found in Sainsbury's. I got like the same day this CRT arrived. And also the Palkia figurine that came with the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl pre-order. I got Pokemon Shining Pearl in case you're wondering. And I personally decided to put um, the stickers on this CRT. Because why not? Just give it a little unique flair. A little... There's some of my DVDs here. And the rest on the side. Oh yeah. Korea Garchomp. Yeah, it's Pokia. Yeah. yeah, that's the PS2 there. But it's one of the <sighs> earlier models. It's one of the fat models. I can't remember. I'll check later. And there we've got the GameCube hook up to the SCART port. And this little rolly extension blade that I'm using in a minute but we'll be ordering a another extension it will be going in the back so I can hook up a hook up both the GameCube and the PS2 at the same time but also I plan to get a SCART switch because I only found out when I was playing Burnout on the PS2 because this is the UK version well European version PAL European or don't know if that's the same with PAL Australia but when I'm playing um, the PS2, because it's connected through composite, because this is what, it's one of those PAL games that actually supports 60 hertz. And when I test it on 60 hertz with the composite, it turns it into black and white. Whereas with the RGB SCART, which I'm using for the GameCube, I can play in 60 hertz no problem don't know why but it's just probably a manufacturing thing but yeah i watched i like to watch dvds on this as well because i've been watching like i don't know watching season three of the simpsons i think people call this like the beginning of the golden age of the simpsons well, it's not just that but also like south park uh Thomas the Tank Engine as well. One thing I should tell you about watching um, 16 by 9 content is that it, I think it slightly crops or zooms to fit the screen rather than like, like manage to fit all the content in on on the CRT. On the CRT. But like if you're watching a, like a wide screen content that's formatted for 4 by 3 displays but you know apart from those little nitpicks but this is a very good CRT in case any of you are wondering where I got this from I got this on eBay I ordered it just over two weeks ago now and it arrived last week and I want to say if you're looking for a, like a decently priced CRT um, I think this is a pretty good option. And also, 
a DVD player if you want to if you're one of those people like me that want to watch your DVDs on a CRT. Go ahead, do that. Oh uh, yeah, I paid uh, eighty six forty nine. That's including the shipping because it was seventy two pounds and fifty pence by itself. If I could drive up to the sales location and pick it up from from his place, which I'm going to actually shout out the seller on eBay, Profi Rog. Do check him out. Because I've noticed that he has a very good track record. He's also packed the CRT absolutely amazingly. I know he was a little with a bit of a delay. But given um, that he had to get the source of bubble wrap and all the other protection things. And there was a slight delay on every part. This is... You know, I've heard horror st- I've heard mixed st- stories about eBay CRTs, like delivery, I think delivery wise, because it is kind of risky to get a CRT from eBay. Because I've heard like stories like you know like like magnetized it kind of fucks up the screen or if it gets arrives and broke it arrives broken. Fortunate, luckily, I've had no problems with this TV. Apart from the little nitpicks I've stated. But I do think this is a pretty good entry level CRT for anyone wanting to get a CRT. Because I had a CRT like up until I was like 10. It was like a blue, I think it was a blue Hitachi. It was was a Hitachi. I know it was a blue CRT. Probably about this size. That's that's, uh, my parents had... I think before I was even born, my maternal my paternal grandmother got every got actually every, everyone got that CRT, but I had like a lot of memories watching VHS tapes and DVDs on that thing. I never played video games on it. I don't know what I mean. I'm, but yeah, I remember like watching a Tom and Jerry DVD on that CRT when it died. Literally, just I was just had just watching it. It just went. Stopped working. You know, occasionally when I was on a CRT, up until I got this one, like when I was at a gaming cafe in my town, I'm not stating where I live, but the only time he's really done that, I think, was for um, the light gun games because not only in addition to people buying. CRTs to play, you know, let's pull out Super Smash Brothers Melee, which I'm sure some of you have been told this, CRTs have next to no input lag, which would probably help if you're using a wired controller, which my game controllers are wired, one of the few officially made controllers you can get both in wired and wireless i think that's the same with the xbox 360 i mean the ps2 is plugged in don't worry it's just turned off oh so i'll show you see don't worry don't ask about the gamecube my brother trips over anyway but this is a very good crt i will give you that It's a four, this one's a 14 inch. I don't really know much about the Pacific brand. I mean, there's a few scuffs on that, but it doesn't really d- deter from anything. It didn't come with a remote though. So I had to order a universal remote. This was a pain in the ass to set up. I'm not gonna lie. It's really, I really, really needed it because more so if I'm watching DVDs, for instance, I'm gonna need to be able to a- a- navigate the menus. Like if I wanted to, Put on subtitles, change the language. Um, well, let's say you're watching anime, for instance. Let me just pull out an example. Yeah, no, it's Blu ray, but it does have the DVD combo. It's a Blu ray DVD combo, so if I wanted to watch 
fairy tale Phoenix Priestess, I at least have. I mean, I could have a dual setup if I wanted to. However, <clears throat> ideally, I think if you want to like be able to watch it both, uh, because they're both wide because they're a uh, wide screen. I've not watched the DVD version, but I only watched the Blu-ray version. It's my TV for watching Blu-rays and also playing my Nintendo Switch out right here. I mean, theoretically, I could have a dual setup with the both the DVD and the Blu-ray version of Fairy Tale Phoenix Priestess. As a joke, it'd be kind of funny. Let me see. Yeah, because I wouldn't actually recommend watching. DVDs on modern TVs. I mean, I mean, some of them look all right on this on this TV. Because I can't speak of every TV, but as a whole, I think these looks a lot better on a CRT. Like if you got if you're gonna be watching widescreen content on a CRT, get a uh, CRT, get a wide get a widescreen CRT. And if you if it doesn't ever come with a DVD player, I'd probably at best make sure you get a DVD player that lets you go in the settings and set it to sixteen by nine original, uh, like my Blu-ray player connected to the 1080p TV. So if I wanted to watch four by three content, at least it doesn't always look all stretched out. But yeah, but four by three content look absolutely amazing on this thing. I would imagine other consoles like, let's say, Nintendo 64, PS1, even like consoles like the Super Nintendo would look amazing on this. I've only like seen videos on YouTube of what um, they look like, but obviously, if you if I was to put this on, what I'm gonna do is. Give it a moment. It's a bit slow to turn on. You can see the flickering. However, that's just the camera. I mean, there's not much I can do about it right now. But and let me just—I'm actually going to give it a sec because I'm going to turn on the I'm gonna connect the GameCube actually. Where is the port? Yeah, I will say it does look better with the light off, lights off, and curtains closed. Excuse me a minute, folks. What's that? Found it. That's it. Found it. Apologies for the delay, folks. I'm just um, sorting things out. I need to set um, the GameCube. So I've got to send the TV to AV1, which is connected to, which is the SCART port. As you can see, whoop, didn't realize it was that loud. But yeah, CRTs can be pretty loud. They're pretty loud. Uh, sorry about that. Let me turn it down a bit. It's going to be way too bloody loud. But yeah, the flickering with the CRT won't turn that light off. Nah, that's perfect. But you can actually see how... If you see this in, in real life, trust me when I say this. CRTs do these old consoles that don't have HDMI justice. These videos will not, even if you have a very, even if you're using a very, even if you're watching one of those professional videos that are going on about CRTs, like ones from My Life in Gaming, for instance, I would do check them out if I were you, because they do provide very knowledgeable content. 
how to keep I might have to anyway press start oh yeah like this this TV supports 60 Hertz through SCART power 60 Hertz for, for your record which would be about 480i sorry it does not have um, component and again I hear that not many um, CRTs this size don't have component don't know many uh, CRTs from this country, the UK for the record, that have um, component either. But if I show you, um, let's see now. So this is Mario. Um, you probably can just about make out the quality from this CRT. One thing I can tell you, that it does look really good. Of course, my phone camera ain't gonna do the picture quality because of the flickering. In the, I don't, I don't really know what's is it about. I know that it's being covered in plenty of videos, but if you trust me, when you see this for yourself in real life, you're gonna be like, oh my god, that looks so fucking amazing. It looks so much better than connecting it to the HD for HD TV. Let me just zoom in. Oh yeah, speaking speaking of Mario, did you hear about Charles Martinet um, stepping down as his roles from Mario, Luigi, Wario, Waluigi, their baby counterparts? And I'm guessing Toad's work as well. Who's going to be voicing them though? Oh yeah, yeah, because he also voiced uh, Mario's dad and. Um, What's his name? Giuseppe from the Mario movie. It's a great movie, by the way. It'd be interesting if Chris Pratt took over the role as Mario. I do actually think Chris Pratt's um, Mario is pretty good. What do you? I think you probably won't use that voice for. Um, if you've any, if you've any of you seen the um, Super Mario Brothers movie. Then I think that if you would talk like Mario, because then then there's a new, there's another Mario game coming out, uh, the 20th of October, which is just shortly after my birthday. Actually, I wonder who'll be voicing Mario then, unless unless that's going to be actually Charles Martinet's last um, game, and also there's also the Super Mario RPG remake. I don't know if there's going to be other voices in that or not, but. Yeah, this is a really good CRT for your money. <laughs> Although I've heard someone on Facebook saying, "Let me turn this off." That oh yeah, you might see this little. That's normal. I also recommend you join the CRT collective on the Facebook the Facebook group. Um, someone on Facebook was saying that the, what it should was worth should be worth pay should have been worth less, but I don't care. Apparently, this was, these were made for Asta. I don't really know too much about Pacific. Oh yeah, not long um, after I got the CRT, I actually found a CRT listing on Facebook. Because my friend was actually looking for a shout out to Carl Motors guy, by the way. He was looking for a CRT upon seeing mine. And I just went onto the Facebook marketplace. Just went CRTs. They're fairly, it's a fairly like, recent, like a local one from where I was about. I think it was about half an hour drive or so. It was a free listing as well. That also came with a DVD player. It's a Digitome, Digihome CRT. Um, about the same size as this one. It does come with a came with it came with a Philips DVD player. It has the these. It has like only only these um, AV cables. Don't know why there's not 
I don't really understand why like some of these CRTs or TVs in general have like like one like one red like yeah obviously the yellow one but like either just just the white or the red. Ideally, if you want to get a CRT, make sure you get a if you want to use, if you want like something with the composite cables, make sure you have a CRT with both. But it does have a SCART port, which is going to be better. Which the DVD player is connected through an actual SCART cable. It's not like a composite to SCART, like something like this, which actually came with my PS2. Got one of these for the Wii as well. But I'm using Wii Chase, am I? But anyway. Anyway, this is my CRT, and I'm going to suggest you check out the CRT Collective on Facebook, which you can. I mean, if you got if you you can, if you've got a CRT, well, if you've got a CRT for sale, or if you're looking for a CRT, just say, "Hey, I'm looking for a CRT size. I'm looking for is I don't know, 32 inches. It's got to have component composite S video SCART. Blah 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 blah." Can have a DVD player on there. Can have a VCR. Blah blah blah. Oh yeah, because some of these DVD, some oh sorry, some of these CRTs have a DVD player built in, and or a VCR as well. So if you do get one, take care of them. And also, if any of you are watching have a CRT that you don't want to with, don't want to have anymore, so get them on Facebook. Just get rid of them on Facebook. Send them on Facebook because. You can might as well advertise that listing on 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 Facebook because you know somebody's gonna be happy to have it. Maybe a museum is maybe maybe a museum is looking for as well, or a gaming cafe. Who knows? Anyway, this is Smasher Joss signing out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Have a good one. Goodbye.